Okay, y'all, everything is dry, so the next thing I'm going to do is trim my paper around my um, candle base here. And I'm just going to do that with scissors. You could do it with an X-Acto knife if you wanted to. I'm just going to use scissors because I just think that would be the easiest thing to do. So far, so good. Just trying to trim right up to that edge there. Getting as close as I can. And that looks good. And this is our candle holder. It looks really pretty, but I want to seal this glitter on here and I want to seal my image down. And I also want to seal this too. So what I'm going to do next is do our water-based varnish. I'm just going to gently shake it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some out on here. That's quite thin and runny. I'm just going to quickly brush it all the way to the edge. Might have got a little bit too much, but that's okay because we're also going to be doing this. So I will just glean off of this and put it over here. Why not? We don't want to waste it. And everything's going to need a good coat. And my dog's going to bark because somebody's outside. It is summer and kids are out of school now, so that's going to happen. She's my yappy little Pomeranian. She just had her 15th birthday over Memorial Day weekend. So she's my little old gal. Almost lost her last March. I don't know if y'all watched that video or not, but you know, I didn't, I wasn't able to make videos for a while. The day that I brought her back home was the day that I broke my ankle. Now I have locked jaw from TMJ. <laughs> like, seriously, my jaw's been locked up, so I haven't made videos in a little while. That's why. <laughs> because my jaw's been locked up. It's been a little uncomfortable. But I've been putting ice on it, so it's a little better now. Eh, okay, we got a little too runny there. That's okay. It's not going to hurt it any. I'll just let it run off onto there. I told y'all I'm messy. I'm very, very messy. And it has technically gone all kinds of places that I didn't want it to. I'm going to rinse my brush out a little bit, and then I'm going to get it out of here. Because, I mean, you know, it's probably not going to hurt that any to be varnished. I don't think it will. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Look, I've got some over here, too. So I'm 
just kind of make sure none of it's pulled up anywhere. I think that's the most important part, just to make sure it's not pulled. Okay, that's done. I'm going to set that down. We'll let that dry. And I'm just going to brush this out. Okay, and I'm going to let this dry, and while, you know, after it dries, I'm going to determine if it needs another coat, and if it does, I'm going to lightly sand it and apply another coat, and I will let you know um, when I come back from doing all of that if that is indeed what I did, or if I just left it like this. So, we'll be back in a few. Alrighty, everything's dry, everything's gorgeous. I did wind up putting two coats of varnish on this and two coats of varnish on our candle holder. I did not feel the need to sand it. I think it looks pretty like it is. If you make one of these and you want to sand in between your coats and do all of that, you can do that. There's no law against it. Um, just as there's no law against not sanding. So I didn't sand mine. If you want to do that with yours, you can do it. Um, it just wasn't the look I was going for. Um, I don't need it to be super smooth. I kind of want it shabby chic because that's, that's my thing. I really like shabby chic. So... Uh, you do you and I'll do me and we will go ahead and get on with this project. Um, I am going to put some gold rub around the edges of this. And I'm just going to go around it. Like so, I'm going to go ahead and uh, rub the edge around. All the way around bringing it up onto the top of the of the um, candle base here. This stuff can be quite messy. It does get under your fingernails, so beware of that. I got it a little bit in the corners on these sides, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that over here too because I like it. Once this dries, it's not going anywhere, so you don't have to worry about um, putting this on before you seal it because this will not this isn't going to come off once you get it on okay I like it make sure I get it all the way around the edge good because I do want it on the edge it looks like I got it Okay, there's one little spot here that I want to get a little better than I did. Okay, and you can see that's going to go really well with our candle. It's so pretty. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, let me get this wiped off of my finger. I don't really want to get gold rub on everything else, so I'm going to take a second and I've just got a damp paper towel and I'm just rubbing this off of my finger best as I can. Because I don't want to get it on everything. And we're going to be gluing some things next. So, voila. Put the lid back on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position my... Um, my decorations here, my embellishments that I have, and I kind of have an idea of what I want, so I'm just going to start gluing these things down. 
get a paper towel real quick or some sort of paper. This might work good because it's kind of glossy. I use these painting pads a lot for everything because they're kind of smooth. And they work pretty good for gluing things down. And I have my E6000 here. I just about let this dry out, so it may not be very cooperative, but we're going to try. Okay, hopefully that's in frame. But I just put some glue on this, and now I'm going to just glue it down with my E6000. like so. And next I'm going to glue down my lace here. My little applique. I'm going to glue this in place because it wants to wobble around and I don't want it wobbling. So I'm just going to glue that down. Grab a hot glue too, and we're just going to position it here. Just stick it down. Okay. applying my glue a little more liberally to that piece because it's a heavy piece and I don't want it to come off. So I want to make sure it's stuck down really good. I kind of have an idea of where I want these to go, so I'm just going to um, apply them where I think they're going to look pretty. And you don't want it, all, your, all your bling in one place, you know, you don't want to like just you. So you want to kind of, my method is to alternate, you know, applique, bling, applique, bling, you know, just to kind of break it up a little bit without it, you know, being every everything blingy in one place. I don't like to roll that way. I like to have a variety of things to look at throughout the piece. So I just kind of put things where I want them. Okay, and now I'm going to go over here with this one, I think. It's getting everywhere. E6000 is kind of, it does, it just gets everywhere. And want that one to go there. And 
you want it to stay stuck really good so I'm gonna put quite a bit of glue right there and stick that down good I'm just kind of hold it until it sets it'll take a minute for that hot blob of hot glue to set it Little glue strings here and there. And I think I like that one right there, so I'm going to go ahead and put that one there. Push it down and hold it. I think I want to put that there. And that there. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of that. And a little bit of this. Good. I don't really want that to go on top of there. I'm just going to leave that where it's at. And I think I'm going to put my little flower right there. I like it there. So that's where it's going to go. Like it. Now once this stuff dries, the E6000 is going to hold these things in place, so they're not going to go anywhere. And now for my candle holder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to put a lace butterfly here because I think that'll be really pretty. That's what I want to do, so that's what I'm going to do. And for that, I'm only going to use E6000. I'm not going to use the hot glue. I'm going to try to use it primarily around the edges of the butterfly and not try to get too much in the center part of it. Because once it sticks, it sticks, you know. But I just don't want a whole lot of glue showing through it. I just want to make sure I get it around all of the edges and... I think that's good. So let's go ahead and stick that here. Very pretty. And that concludes our project, guys. It's really lovely. I love it. You're just going to set your... I know you can't see this very well, but it's beautiful. I'm going to kind of tilt it up so you can see. It's really pretty. I'm going to take pictures of this, of course. And then I've got a little... I don't like using regular candles because people forget and leave them on. And then you have a burned down apartment or a burned down house. And so I get these little candles at Dollar Tree. And they work just fine. And I'm going to show you... I'm just going to go ahead and set that in here. I know it's light in this room, so you probably can't see it very well. But it's, it's really beautiful. And you can kind of see, I'm just going to kind of, it's going to move, but I'm going to turn this around and let you kind of see what we have here. And this with the candle base is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to let this completely dry and then I'll take some photos and I don't know, maybe a little video of it, but we'll see what I get, what I come up with and I'll show you that at the end. Okay. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. It does help the channel to grow and it helps me to be able to bring more projects to you. So, um, again, thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.